Just when you thought dinosaurs couldn't get any bigger, they went up themselves once again. Let's take a look. A recent paper by La Romendi et al., yes, the same La Romendi behind those amazing dinosaur facts and figures books, has given dinosaurs a bit of an upgrade. By that I mean that La Romendi's team discovered that we've been underestimating the body mass of extinct animals for a long time. In their paper, they examined something called specific gravity, or the mass of an object relative to its volume. It's a measurement of how dense something is. For example, water, the standard measurement, has a specific gravity of 1.0, or 1 kilogram per liter. If your specific gravity is greater than 1, you sink. If it's equal to, or less than 1, you float. La Romendi's team examined specific gravity calculations for dozens of species, living and extinct, and realized that traditional density estimates applied to extinct animals are unrealistically low. Old models gave dinosaurs artificially inflated respiratory systems, failed to account for different bone types, or simply didn't have methodology that made sense. This new study accounts for those factors and creates a new database from the ground up. They calculated neutral specific gravity, or NSG values, for each species. Neutral specific gravity is based on the amount of air a relaxed animal has in its lungs, instead of when it's unrealistically inflated or vacuumed out. So what effect does that have on mass estimates for extinct animals? Let's go through the paper and look at the NSG values. Pariasaurs and decinodonts had specific gravities comparable to that of modern hippos, around 1.1. Basal archosaurs, like aetosaurs and phytosaurs, resembled crocodilians, at 1.05 to 1.1. Primitive dinosaur morphs equaled water, with prosauropods being slightly lighter. Ornithischians likely didn't have air sacs, so their density is comparable to most mammals at 1.0. Ceratopsians were heavier, built more like rhinos with extra spikes. Stegosaurus, a famous thyreophoran, measured between 1.053 and 1.076, including its plates and thagomizers. Ankylosaurs, not surprisingly, pushed 1.1 with their hefty representatives. The largest theropods sported densities of 0.95 to 0.99, Spinosaurus leads the crowd here with 1.05, as its bones are described here as being 30 to 40 percent denser than those of any other known theropod. We'll come back to that in a minute. Sauropods were, by admission of the authors, the most difficult group to consistently calculate, since their bone density, or pneumaticity, varies so wildly throughout different parts of their bodies. Their necks are extraordinarily light, for example, while the compound bone in their legs can be up to 30 percent more dense than that of an elephant's. Overall, their 2020 density ranged between 0.917 and 0.984, significantly higher than the previously dominant 0.85 figure. That results in a mass increase across the board for all of our favorite sauropods. Patagotitan, for example, rises to 56,000 kilograms, and Giraffotitan to 34,000. Scaling those sizes to Argentinosaurus and Dreadnotus result in 78 and 42 metric tons, respectively. So how about that 10-ton theropod I promised you? Well, until now, the best guess density for megatheropods was 0.91. So all of our famous merger sores get free buffs. Here are updated mass estimates. They're free. Take them. Check it out. With these new size ranges, we'll have to do some reshuffling of the megatheropod hierarchy, but everyone gets a win. Spinosaurus is finally back in the 7-ton range, and Mapusaurus is actually really big for some reason. And T-Rex... Man, I don't know how it keeps doing this. The figures here are composite of Vernoys and Random Dino's GDIs for Sue. If Scotty was only 1 or 2% more massive, assuming a 0.99 specific gravity, then we do indeed have a Tyrannosaurus that tops 10 metric tons. With a 0.95 NSG, he'd have to be 5% more massive. Those numbers are well within reach. There you have it. Dinosaurs are even bigger than we thought. For more paleontology news, hit the subscribe button and comment below on what kind of video you want to see next.